Hey there, this is Snake from GetRix.in and in this video we are going to give you a detailed preview about MadOS custom ROM from Team AMT for Coolpad Not the Lag. So now I will go to settings to so your about phone to show you about the ROM and all that. Okay, so here we go to about phone. As you can see the ROM is MadOS and the Android version is 7.1.1 that is no good and the kernel version is 3.18.19 okay so now let's see what we have got in the settings as you can see that we have got mad os extras in the settings so what are they for well you get a various and lots of tweaks available from there like status bar tweaks clock tweaks in status bar we have got quick pull down battery tweaks and all that you can select that to show battery percentage or not and all that now now we have got double tap to see and brightness controls and all that we've got a various and lots of clock tweaks and you can align your clock you can position your clock where, where you want to position your clock you have got network traffic monitor so you can you can, it can show the speed of your outgoing and ingoing network traffic that's a plus point here and now we have got pi control here so this is very good not many of the ROMs have pi control and all that okay so here we have got pi control so you can set colors on the pi color graph and all that as you can see here now we have got smart wake and all that we have got previous performance tweaks and all that you can select between cfx decoder and all that now we have got scrolling settings we have got scrolling settings that you can change the score fix and all that from here so you got lots and lots of tweaks in from now we have got many things over there. now let me show you that some just such a supported like jump to camera option and long press power button to switch on torch and all that so some gestures are available too now let me show, show you about ok now let's go to the home and now let me show that substation is properly working in this ROM and there is a full OSM support that means any substation thing that's not outdated will work on this ROM without a reboot so that's a great thing now let me show you that file manager is there and file manager works fine so now i will show you that geo 4 bus works fine here so you can make calls those who have not got fold you can make calls easily from geo 4 bus now there is radio fm and all that and now i will open some apps to show you some multitasking skills of this from here i open calculator now calendar and all that so I'm just opening this to show you the multitasking multitasking abilities of this ROM okay so that's it I think I'm, I'm, okay let's open the screen recorder let me tell you that screen maker sorry sound recorder isn't working on this ROM okay but the call mic is working but the sound recorder is not working so let me go to YouTube and you can see that YouTube is working fine here so this is our channel you can subscribe if you want so now i will i will just show you about the multitasking skills here in so as you can see that we have a lot of lots and lots of tabs opened here in this ROM. so now let's jump to substrate you can see that opens within a second if already opens within a second the browser opens within a second that means the multitasking abilities of this ROM is pretty good. So now let's open. Okay, music opens fast. Everything opens fast. That means multitasking is really fast. Okay. So okay. So this ROM looks very good. Feels very smooth on hand. And all that. So. Now there's another bug in this ROM that is uh, if I switch on smart wake and do all those gestures and all that now if I lock the phone and when I try to unlock the phone you can see the double tap does not work 
And let me tell you that this ROM do not have an FP, means fingerprint is not there, volt is not there, sound record is not working, and double tap to wake up is not working. That are all the bugs there. Okay. At last, we are showing you some samples of the camera here. 